Welcome back. Uh, this is example one from Math 360, 182, section 1.2. Uh, and so in this example, uh, I wanted to know if x is equal to the number of spots up on a dice. Uh, and this dice is a fair six sided dice. Uh, it wants us to uh, devise a, or create a, I guess is a better way of saying it, a reasonable PMF, a probability mass function, and then compute the mean and variance uh, for this experiment. So if we're looking at a six-sided die, uh, every time you roll the die, the chance that you would imagine, um, you know, the side of a one or a two or a three coming up would just be equal to how many sides there are, right? So the chance of one of them coming up, well, uh, there's one, one, there's uh, one, two, there's one, three, there's one, four, and there's one, five, and there's one, six. So the frequency of each of the uh, sides is one. And since there are six sides in total, if we assume uh, all chances are equally likely, and just to distinguish here, uh, what I mean by this is that if we roll the dice, it's not going to be rounded or somehow affected that uh, one of these numbers will show up more. Um, oftentimes we call this a, it's a fair dice. Okay. And since uh, we're assuming that that's the case, then each time we roll, the frequency of the number, a one, a two, a three, or four, or five, or six, there's only one of those um, occurrences for each of the sides of the dice. And so, uh, we could reasonably assume then that for the uh, function f of x, terms of the probability mass uh, function, the PMF of this um, of this discrete random variable, the PMF here, is what we're looking for. And so we can call it f of x. That's the probability that uh, we land on whichever side we're looking for. So we'll call it of x equaling x is going to equal 1 over 6. Uh, and here, x is going to equal um, all the possible outcomes. In other words, all the so sides of the dice. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. And so this is the, the f of x here. OK? All right, so now that we have the probability mass function, let's go ahead and compute then uh, the mean and variance for this. OK, so the mean is equal to the, to the sum. Uh, well, this, yeah, so x is going to go from 1 to 6 here of x times f of x. Uh, and so this is going to be 1 times 1, 6, 2 times 1, 6, plus 3 times 1, 6, plus 4 times 1, 6, plus 5 times 1, 6, plus 6 times 1, 6. Uh, since each element has a 1, 6 in common, I can actually factor all of those out individually and multiply that at the end. So I have 1, 6 uh, times um, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Uh, so if we look here, we have this and this make 5 and 5, and that makes 10, and then 4 and 1 makes 5. So this is going to be a total of 15 over 6. Okay, so the um, mean is 15 over 6. And notice that 15 over 6 is not an integer value. Uh, and so the mean, the average that we would expect uh, from this from this rolling the dice is actually not one of the values that you would see on. Um, but if you notice, 6 goes into uh, if we divide 6 goes into 12 um, twice. And you have uh, three sixths remaining, or uh, two and a half. No, x minus me, yeah. right? Uh, which we can simplify to maybe the sum from x equals one to six. Uh, x squared times f of x uh, minus mean squared. 
Uh, and so if we plug it in that in, uh, we're going to get, let's see, we're going to get 1 times 1 6 plus 2 squared times 1 6 plus 3 squared times 1 6 uh, plus 4 squared times 1 6 plus 5 squared times 1 6 plus uh, 6 squared times 1 6. And then uh, we're going to subtract from all of this uh, our mean, which was 1506. This reduces to what? Uh, 3, 5, okay. Oh, I forgot a 6. Uh -huh. No wonder that felt a little on. I felt like it was a little less than it should be. Um, so I forgot my plus 6 here. That's what's making it different. Okay, uh, so it's 15 plus 6, so that's what, 21? Over 6? Yeah, that makes way more sense. I was wondering why that seems so little. Uh, so 6 goes into that, what, 3? And um, what do we have left over? Uh, 6 goes into that, 3 times of 18, 19, 20, 21. So you're going to have 3 and a 6, or just like we would expect, 3.5. That makes sense. 3.5. That is the that was the that would be what we would expect. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the the middle of the row here is the mean, and that's exactly what we should expect. It's in between the two. That makes way more sense. See, I'm glad I caught that air. All right. Uh, so this is gonna be seven over two squared. Uh, that should be three halves. Yeah. Okay. All right. That makes way more sense. Okay. So let's factor out that one six again. Uh, and now 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36. I'm not going to forget the 6 this time. Minus, uh, what, 49 over 4? Okay. Um, let's see. We add uh, 36, 25, 16. Uh, well, uh, it looks like that's going to be 90. 91? 91 over 6? I think that's right. Minus uh, 49 over 6. Or 6 over 4, sorry. Um, yeah, no, that's good. And then let's see if we can track that. That's going to give me uh, 182 minus 147 over 12. Plus that by 3. By 2 would be better. Yeah, so if we double that, yeah. But that might be, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and then uh, tracking that, we get 35 over 12. All right, so our variance is going to be 35 over 12. Uh huh, and then of course, then the standard deviation is the positive square root of that, which is uh, roughly 1.70. Okay, uh, even though we didn't ask for it, um, there's a standard deviation. Here is the variance and the mean is uh, 7 over 2 or 3 and a half, which is exactly what we would expect um, for this problem. Okay, right, I hope that was helpful, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. I know that I made a mistake. That was fun. All right, uh, welcome back. This is example 2, from Math 360, a 1 and a 2, section 1.2. Right, and in this example, uh, we're rolling a fair sided die six or no five times. Uh, sorry, it's a six sided die. We're rolling five times. And uh, we got the following set of data here. Uh, so these are the five observations. These are the outcomes of the five observations. And we want to compute um, x bar and uh, s squared. Uh, these are the sample uh, mean and the sample variance. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, just jump right in. This is going to be the sum of the uh, x values uh, divided by the observed uh, number of observations. So this is 3 plus 1 plus uh, 2 plus 6 plus uh, 3. And there are a total of 5. Uh, so this is the observations. And what is that? Uh, it's like 5. Uh, guys. Well, how about if I do that 9, 10, and here you that's what, 15? 25 is equal to 3. Okay. All right, so there's the mean, and then to find the uh, standard deviation for the sample, uh, squared. I don't know why I put a line over that. I was looking at the, you know, looking at the x bar here. 
Uh, and so we're going to have, this is going to be the observation minus the mean. So 3 minus 3 squared plus uh, 1 minus 3 squared plus uh, 2 minus 3 squared plus 6 minus 3 squared plus um, 3 minus 3 squared. All divided by, this is going to be n minus 1. This is going to be 5 minus 1 down here. All right, so this is 0. This is 0. That's nice. And then this is 2 squared. So we're going to have 4 plus, this is going to be 1 plus, well, this is 3, so that's going to be 9 over 4. Uh, 10, 14. So this is 14 over 4. So that's going to be 14. Um, over four, it's a fourteen over four, uh, and so uh, that's the variance. Um, so the variance is fourteen over four, which implies then that this sample standard deviation, the square root of that, which comes out to be roughly one point eight seven. Okay, so there's the standard uh, deviation, the standard deviation, the sample variance, and then the, the sample mean uh, for this particular data set. Okay, I hope that was helpful, and I will see you in the next observation of the video. Also, I'd like to point out, I made no mistakes on that one, so uh, less fun, but at least you get the idea. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.